Welcome to Foreign Channel. Today I will discuss a topic that some of you know it exists. Others probably don't. It's John Florio's relationship with Shakespeare. about Florio and Shakespeare and there is a lot of misinformation about it. It is time to get things straight. People have the right to know the truth about this relationship. They need to be educated. This is why I decided to make a series of videos in which I will explain you the real story about John Florio and Shakespeare. A couple of weeks ago, I published an article on ResolutJohnFlorio.com titled Shakespeare, Florio and the Elephant in the Room. In this article, I explain why you probably never heard of John Florio before me, why he has been literally forgotten despite he was a major contributor to English literature and language, and why he has been kept in oppression and deprivation by poisonous fog of lies written both by serious Shakespeare scholars and random fans of the world. I have made similar examples of how John Florio's reputation was dismantled from the very first biographies of Shakespeare, in which he was described as a silly pedant and a man ridiculed by his contemporaries. Probably the most shocking thing in this whole story is that no single scholar ever batted an eyelash. None. And they brought a long-lasting list of insults precisely made to bury John Florio's reputation. They have described him as cuckold in his literary career, genius, vain, pedantic. This false, distorted narrative has permeated every page of Shakespeare biographies. With the advent of internet era, it has flooded the web of countless blogs in which Shakespeare's fans by repeating the same arms baskets of rotten words proceed undisturbed in a constant mudslinging of Florio's reputation. And the most absurd thing is that why Shakespeare scholars insult John Florio as the most embarrassing man of Renaissance and Shakespeare's greatest enemy, they also describe him as Shakespeare's greatest friend? In fact, John Florio has been also described as Shakespeare's personal tutor, teaching him Italian language, Italian literature, blah blah blah, his personal translator. The fine has Shakespeare Living Dictionary, and a close friend of Shakespeare who gave him the manuscript of Montaigne essays. My question is, when will Shakespeare scholars stop? throwing mud at John Florio. Or, to put it plainly, when will they stop using him as their puppet in order to try to compose an half-broken puzzle of a too often meager, undocumented life? Truth is, John Florio is the elephant in the room. He is a major problem for Shakespeare scholars obviously present but avoided as a subject for discussion. My suggestion is that it is time, especially for a younger future generation of Shakespeare scholars, to discuss about John Florio in a more serious, competent way. Let's make an example. On December 2020, the BBC aired a documentary titled Scaffolds, Swagger and Shakespeare, the hidden story of English, in which Dr. John Gallagher uncovered the real complex story of how English conquered the world. John Florio was defined a key influence on Shakespeare and John Gallagher never mentioned the word pedant, cuckoo, false stuff. 
the documentary proved that the decadence of the whole Florida Shakespeare affair is curable. To give facts, documents and not fiction, to give a better understanding of both Florio and Shakespeare. This is what I want to do in the next series of videos about John Florio and Shakespeare. There is another way to discuss about this affair. It's about a multicultural England where John Florio, protected by the most powerful man of England, was able to bribe, collaborate and make English language and literature as we know it today. Things can change. It is time to tell a better, more modern story. The Florio Shakespeare affair is not a nightmare, but a great fist of languages. And I can't wait to tell you more about it.